Hey, welcome back everybody. We're talking about lists still, and in this video, we're just going to look at some more operations that we can do with lists, including working with the while loop. So let's check that out. All right, so the first thing I want to cover here is uh, the list concatenation and replication. So let's say that we have a list, one, two, three, like this, and uh, remember that the items in the list are comma delimited, and there's my list with the square brackets, and I can use the plus sign or the plus operator to concatenate uh, with another list. So here is another list, right? We've got the square brackets, we've got the comma delimited items there, and so I've got one list on the plus sign and another list on the plus sign, and then the output is just one list with both of those previous lists concatenated. So that's how the plus sign uh, can be used for lists. And we can also use the asterisk or the, you know, the multiplication sign to um, uh, replicate items in a list. So for example, let's say that I have that one, two, three again. There's my list. And let's say I just have asterisk, so times, if you want to think of it like that, times three. And that gives me one, two, three, then one, two, three, one, two, three. It replicates the list three times in this case. All right. So uh, I want to show you a couple more commands. Let's say uh, we have a list. We'll, we'll save it as, uh, as spam. So now spam is equal to that list one, two, three. And what I can do is say spam plus equals, let me back up actually, how about spam equals spam plus, uh, let's do ABC. Like this. Okay, so this is again uh, a list concatenation. So spam is currently 1, 2, 3, and so I'm going to concatenate it with ABC. So this command is almost identical to the first command that I gave up here, except it's going to take that output value, that 1, 2, 3, ABC, and store it as spam. So remember, right now, spam is 1, 2, 3, and after I execute this command, now you see spam is 1, 2, 3, ABC. So it took the old spam and concatenated it with um, this list ABC. This is actually a very useful uh, type of command inside loops where you can you keep concatenating um, onto itself, right? The spam equals spam. And remember the shorthand for that was spam plus equals. That's uh, That will work here. So uh, for, for example, if I take spam, which is now 1, 2, 3, ABC, and I want to concatenate it with XYZ, the shorthand notation, I feel like I do need to, you know, emphasize this shorthand notation because this is what you'll see uh, programmers in the wild uh, use right there. So this is this is equivalent to command 164 here, spam equals spam plus ABC. Now I'm saying spam plus equals uh, XYZ and we have no problem with that and you'll see now in the variable explorer spam is that old list 123 ABC and then appended or concatenated with XYZ. Now, I want to go back up to this uh, original command up here, 1, 2, 3, A, B, C, and uh, I want to point out that in order to use the plus sign as a list concatenation operation, both uh, the left and the right side have to be lists. So you'll see here that I've got 1, 2, 3, and I want to concatenate that with A. But right now I've left off the square brackets in A, and so I'm going to have an error here, and it says it can only concatenate list to list, not string to list, because A is a string. If I want A to join my list, I need to put A in square brackets so that I make it of type list. So let's do that. And then now I have 1, 2, 3, A, so no problem there. All right, let me uh, clear this, and I want to show you um, the delete statement or the del, D-E-L statement. So let's say I have a, another list. Um, yeah, I've, I've got spam in memory already. Let's let's take a look at spam. Spam is this one, two, three, A, B, C, X, Y, Z. And what I can do is I can say let's delete. So del, you see del lights up as a keyword in space. So I'm going to delete the uh, 
second index of spam. So before I hit enter, maybe pause the video, think about what's go what uh, element here or what item is going to be deleted, and um, let's hit enter. Okay, it did something. Let's have a look at spam. All right now, spam is one two A B C X Y Z, and the reason for that is because the old spam, which is one two three, remember it has ind indexes starting at zero. So the the one is actually index zero, the two is index one, and then it's the three that was index two. So we told it to delete the item at index 2, that was actually the 3. So now if we run that command again, let's say del spam 2, what do you think is going to happen here now? Pause the video, think about it. I hit enter, and let's take a look at spam. Now the A is gone, because uh, in, in this uh, list, A is at index 2. Remember, index 0, index 1, index 2. So now we just told it essentially to delete index uh, 2, which is the A. All right, so that's the del keyword. I'm going to clear, and uh, I'm going to move, I'm going to write a little program over here to the uh, editor. And uh, Actually, before I do that, I guess I'll, I'll go to the console. And I want to introduce uh, to you the concept of working with lists inside a loop. This is a very important application or a combination of two things that we've seen already, lists and loops. So um, let me give you something that, um, an example that you wouldn't want to do in a program. And let's say you have a bunch of cats and you want to you know, do something with your cat names, maybe store them or, or, and, and uh, store them to a file or something. So you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna define uh, their names as variables. So maybe you would say like cat name one equals and uh, maybe your first cat's name is Pluto okay and then um, you know you you might be tempted to write a program that says okay cat name 2 is equal to um, maybe um, uh, uh, Perdita <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's how you spell Perdita maybe Perdita Perdita per I don't know okay but uh, there we go and then maybe you have another uh, cat name you know, you have a third cat, and its name is Roxy, right? And then maybe you have a fourth uh, cat name, and its name is uh, Maxwell, all right? And we, we'll, we'll go one more. Let's say uh, you have a fifth cat, and, uh, and its name is uh, Faraday, okay? So there are our cat's names. And so you might, actually, I probably should have written this in a program but but I won't so you might be tempted if you're going to do something with your cats and your cat names you might be tempted to write a program that uh, that gives each name a its own variable like cat name one cat name two cat name three cat name four and cat name five uh, it turns out though that this is not a good way to write code um, for one thing if the number of cats changes like if you get a new cat or um, you know, maybe uh, maybe you lose a cat, um, then your program is not going to be able to store more or fewer cats than what you've you've coded. You've essentially coded. Uh, you, we would say we've hard coded five cats. There's your 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 code is not flexible. It's going to it's going to require five cats. Period. Right. And um, also, uh, we we've got like a lot of duplicate kind of. Uh, lines right these 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 variables are almost the same but not quite and whenever you find yourself duplicating things um, that's not good you can usually get away with a, a loop instead and a loop will um, decrease the uh, number of lines of code so uh, let me just elaborate on that for a second and let me say um, let's 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 write a piece of code like input um, we'll say enter we'll say uh, here here's cat name one cat name one equals and we'll say enter the name of cat one okay and so uh, we might and I'll here's here's the copy and pasting part right like um, I want to repeat this five times because I want to get all of my cats into this uh, program so I'm gonna repeat this five times and I'm just gonna be changing this uh, this this number so cat name three, 
Okay, so again, this is not a good way to code because, again, we're hard coding or the number of cats is equal to 5. And um, that's not good. It's not flexible. And also, there's a lot of copying and pasting going on, which is also not good. Okay, but let me uh, save this, Control S, and then I'm going to run it, and so you'll see how this works. So here we go, enter name of cat1, and uh, I said that this was Pluto, right? And cat2 was uh, Perdita, and cat3 was Roxy, and cat4 was Maxwell, and cat5 was Faraday. All right, so the program ends, and then all my cat names are stored in... Uh, as, as variables and there they are and then with with them in memory now I could do something like I could write them to a file or something like that. Now I'm going to show you a better way to do this okay and this is kind of the the, the, the more like um, useful the, the and and uh, you, you would really never see somebody in the wild like a true programmer write some some code like this this is, this is garbage. Instead you would see something like this um, which I'm going to do underneath I'm going to comment out all this so we can compare later on. Okay, so what you would see, instead of making variable names for your for each cat, you would maybe make a list and you would store each cat's name inside that list. So what are we going to call our name our uh, list? Maybe we'll call it just cat names. Cat names and we're going to initialize it to the empty list like this. Now, um we will ask, so we will say, uh, we will say, input. So we're going to ask for a name, okay? Input. Um, uh, uh, we'll say enter name of cat, okay? And then we'll say cat one. And then we'll also say something like enter. Uh, nothing to stop. So the idea is that we're going to put this in a while loop that that continuously um, asks for a name, okay? And you can enter nothing to stop the loop. So that's what we're going to prompt the user for right there. Okay, so we've got that. And, uh, and we're going to store whatever the user enters uh, as name and then we're going to check name. So um, I guess well, what we can do is uh, we can um, say while name does not equal um, the empty string, right? This is the empty string. So if they entered nothing to stop, uh, they would have entered the empty string. And so while that name is not empty, meaning while they they uh, entered something, right? We need a colon there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to concatenate uh, the name that they gave us inside our list of cat names. So we're going to say cat names plus equals, and then we're going to put name inside the list, right? Name is currently a string. Anything that you input from the input function is a string. Remember from my demo and from the console with A, uh, we have to put name into a list in order to concatenate it with the empty list. And I'll just point out that this is also equal to uh, this command here, plus name, like this. So this one is a little bit more clear. We're going to put name in a list, and then we're going to concatenate it with the previous list. All right. So uh, we do that, and then we're going to ask the user for another name then. So let's do that. Let's say name equals, but this time it's not going to be um, cat1, right? It would be cat2. So what we're going to say here is uh, not cat1, but we're going to say, we're going we're gonna to append to this, we're going to look at the length of cat names. Now I'm going to give myself some more space in the editor here. We're going to look at the length of cat names. So now presumably cat names is one because the length of cat names is one because uh, the the uh, user would have input a cat name if we're inside this while loop. So so now in this first iteration of the while loop, cat names has a length of one. 
So now we're going to ask it for the second one. So we're going to take the length of cat names and add one to it. And so that will give us two. And then we need to make that two a string in order to concatenate it with this string. Okay, so we've got that there. Now um, we, want, uh, we want to concatenate that with um, or uh, enter, well, I guess we'll say enter nothing to stop. Okay, so that looks good. I think that should be all right. Perfect. And then I will test it in a second. So now you see that's going to keep looping while the user is inputting names, right? And each time the input is a name, the length of cats is going to get larger. The length of this list, cat names, is going to get larger. And so, you know, this uh, number, this index, will keep uh, adjusting as we go through the loop. That's pretty cool. And then uh, we're going to see if our, our uh, program works. So at the end of the loop, or outside of the loop, we're going to say um, print um, the cat names are. And then uh, we're going to print each cat name. So we need a for loop here for name in cat names. That didn't indent. That's weird. For name in cat names. That should have indented. Let me just. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to print. the name like this. Okay, so we'll put some, we'll print some space, we're going to print some space, and then we're going to print the name. So for each name in the cat names, print the name. All right, let's, uh, let's check that out. I'm going to control S, and we will run it. All right, so you see here, enter name of cat1, enter nothing to stop. So um, here we're on actually line 17 now. Enter name of cat1, enter nothing to stop. So I'm going to give it uh, Pluto. Pluto, like that. All right, now, because I entered something, the while, uh, you know, this Boolean statement here is true. Name does not equal the empty string because name is Pluto. So now I'm inside the while loop. So cat names has actually been um, concatenated. Um, which we, we don't see just yet, but now we're at line 22 where we're being asked for cat name 2, you see? And so I will give it uh, Perdita. Alright, and, and because again I, I entered something, that while uh, boolean statement is true, and so the while loop continues, right? And now I'm going to enter Roxy, and you'll see how the index uh, 3 has, has gone up, right? And then 4, Maxwell, and 5, Faraday. Okay, now enter name of cat 6, enter uh, nothing to stop. Now I want to stop, so I'm just going to hit enter, and the while loop exits because um, name uh, name does not equal empty is false now. And so now it exits the while loop and it prints the cat names R. And then it enters this for loop and it prints the name in cat names. And there they are. And you look at, uh, we, can, we can look at the, the list, print cat names. And there's the list. All of the things that I entered are now in that one list. That's pretty neat. And that's the way that, uh, that you would do it, um, you know, in the wild. A real programmer would do it, not like 10 lines, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This way we can enter as many uh, cat names as we want. Okay, so in the next video, uh, we're going to look at how to use for loops with a list. We, we, we use a, a for loop in this example, but uh, we didn't have a list inside that for loop. So that's, that's where we're going to look at next. Thank you.